Pete Davidson has been keeping Kanye West jokes off of SNL. Kourtney Kardashian explains her Las Vegas wedding. Plus, Khloe Kardashian finally admits that Tristan Thompson is not the guy for her. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life with your Car Jenna Roundup. In case you missed it, Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker got married in Las Vegas just the other day. Except, did they really? After Courtney shared a montage of wedding photos on Instagram from the big night, what really caught the attention of her fans was the ending of her caption that read, after an epic night and a little tequila, a queen and her handsome king ventured out to the only open chapel with an Elvis and got married with no license. So with no license, you're not legally married, right? Well, the Car Jenner family appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Live last night and court set the record straight, kind of. Jimmy said, you went ahead and got fake married, to which Courtney replied, it's not called fake marriage. There was no possibility to get a marriage license at that hour. The Pooch founder went on to explain that she thought that she could get married at any hour in Las Vegas, but since their ceremony was around 2 a.m. and the licensing office doesn't open until 8 a.m., they weren't able to get one. So I feel like we're not gonna be calling her Mrs. Barker just yet. Switching gears to Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson's on-again, off-again relationship. Khloe has mostly kept quiet these days about where she stands with Tristan after he fathered a third child at the end of 2021 with Marley Nichols. Until now. The reality star sat down with Robin Roberts for an ABC News exclusive and dished on how things are going with the NBA player these days following the scandal. Chloe said, I think he's a great guy and a great dad. He's just not the guy for me. She also talked about the early days of their relationship and why she took him back after the first time he cheated on her. Chloe said, with Tristan, I did feel incredibly safe in the beginning. I felt really good for a time. I remember when he cheated on me before I gave birth and I was still able to have him in the delivery room. Yes, it might have looked strange to the outside world, but when my daughter watches my home videos of it, those videos are going to be as pure as I was able to make them. I really hope Chloe is done for good. I stick with my stance that he is a trash bag. Someone who happens to be growing on us, though, is Pete Davidson. When the Car Jenner family went on Jimmy Kimmel, the host showed the audience a photo of Kim and Pete kissing during one of her Saturday Night Live sketches. In the pic, Pete and Kim share a kiss on a magic carpet as they portray Aladdin and Princess Jasmine. Jimmy asked if this was the first time they had kissed, to which Kim replied yes, and in fact, Pete got her that rug and the costume from SNL as a Valentine's Day gift. Cue the Oz. Jimmy also noted that Pete sent a huge bouquet of flowers for Kim backstage and jokingly asked if that made the other Kardashian boyfriends look bad. Continuing with Pete Davidson and how he's been instrumental in keeping Kanye jokes off of SNL. The King of Staten Island star has had every opportunity in the world to roast Ye on the show in recent weeks, but a source revealed to Hollywood Life exclusively that Pete has asked his bosses to not lean into any of that. The insider said SNL has had skits and jokes about Kanye for weeks, and Pete has had talks with Lorne Michaels throughout. He's asked that they not lean into any of that, and Lorne has promised that they wouldn't put him in a position where he would have to explain himself or get in trouble with Kim, Kanye, the family, and everywhere in between. To be untouchable at SNL is pretty unheard of, so good for Pete. But all right, hit the sub, like, and bell button for all the latest on your favorite celebs. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Ali Stegnita. Stick with us for the latest. Bye, guys.